tire sets it in. We're gonna be pressure washing uh, a lot of the vehicles. And um, there's gonna be one vehicle that y'all haven't seen yet. You might have seen it in one of the videos, like in the background, but you never like actually made a video about it. And um, so we're gonna be like pressure washing and cleaning. I got some purple power and we'll be cleaning like all the vehicles. So um, yeah, I'll show y'all the vehicle y'all haven't seen yet. And so we're gonna be cleaning it really good, getting as clean as I can. And so we're about to go up to the shed and get them. There you go, the keys for them. There's like so many keys. There we go, in my pocket. Okay, so now we're gonna do this thing. So the first thing I'm gonna be washing is just my regular bike. It's my bike right here. Um, I mean, it's, I guess you could say it is a vehicle because it's a bike or whatever. It doesn't really need to be washed, but I mean, I never really wash stuff that much. Really, I never get a real, it's just always dusty, never real muddy because I don't really go through the mud a lot anymore. But, um, I mean, if I'm already washing stuff, why not wash this while I'm already washing it? You know, I mean, might as well. Uh, we, I might wash the tiller too. I think I probably will. Pretty dusty. Not, I mean, I gotta, I gotta, I don't know what that noise it's made was. It's not like a baby. I was, yeah, it was stupid. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but, um, it's not to say, I guess I will wash it. Cause, you know, why not? You know, obviously not gonna be washing the Murray. Cause, you know, can't, why, why we're washing it right now? <laughs> I'm gonna wash the mini bike too. Wash the Honda Craftsman and the Polaris. There's a Hornet or something right there. I need to get him. But, um, so we're gonna do that. I said also, carburetor cleaner. Watch how good it kills these Hornets. Watch it. Just spray it on them. Look at him. He ain't moving. He is moving, but. Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay, yeah, he did. That carburetor cleaner, look, just all this carburetor cleaner, it kills those hornets and yellow jackets and stuff. It kills them so good. All right, so um, you don't need no wash brush. I open the door. Keep pulling my bike out of here. Okay, got this right here. The door and here's the thing. You ready? So this is a golf cart, but I think I, I probably have showed it in my video. I can't remember, but um, I, we've had this thing for about six or seven years, so we've had it for a long time. And see, it's falling off back here. It's got to use a bolt for it, and then this little flatbed or whatever can fold it up, and it'll be a seat or you know, fold it back down. Has brake lights and headlights. Has some pretty nice rims on it. Um, just kind of dirty. A lot of pollen, really. I don't really ride it that much, but I hope it uh, starts up or whatever. So let's take my bike down there. Take my bike down to the house and we'll come back and get something bike else. down here. Now we're going to go get something else. I could just pick the mini bike up and put it down there. But, you know, I just use a piece of wood as a ramp, you know. I could just pick it up and put it on there, but I'm not. So, I'm going to slide this back here. I'm going to put the phone down real quick. Let me back up. I don't know if y'all ever heard it start out before. So, I'm going to just kind of kill switch off. Choke on. I guess we'll go ahead and take the Honda down there. Just get it right there. Okay, so. Keychain broke. Shut this away. Alright. Trying to blow the dirt out of 
Okay, so cut. And I wouldn't have to wash it. I washed it not long ago. It's just all this pollen all over. But um, start it up. I'm gonna let that warm up for a few minutes. I'm gonna wipe the pollen off the seat. Oh, it's pollen. I hate this pollen. This one down here now, and we're going to get another one. All right, time for the next one. Next, I guess we'll do a Polaris. You know, I don't, I don't know if I made a video on this one either. I don't even know if I've ever seen this one before, but you yeah, guys, Polaris over here. It ain't nothing special. It was just a little Sportsman 110, but I mean, cranks up every time. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> It did have an oil leak. Okay, uh, it did have an oil leak, but not anymore. It like leaked so much oil that it just kind of clogged the clogged the leak up, <laughs> and it doesn't leak oil anymore. So that's good. But um, watch how easy this thing cranks up. Over here, the brake. Watch how easy this cranks up. I get another one. Now, I think we're gonna get the rock. I have a bump car key. Yeah, I had a shark keychain on it when I was little. And it took it off and saved the craftsman for last. Alright, here she is. Looking pretty good. That's pulling it over. I just hope that. Either the battery's not dead or um it cranks up i hope it knows it's been a while since i've been on this thing man <laughs> i 
I hate that reverse beeping thing, it's annoying. Gotta be some carbs here, don't know. Get that off. Park in the driveway, but it'll be fine. Okay, so got those on. Now we just gotta get the craftsman and the last everything done. All right, so in a couple of days, I'm, I might get started on this remote control right here. Don't really really know everything's wrong with it. I always start on that remote control, and also I really do. I don't know when I won't get started on this weed eater because you know not too bad of one. It's a uh, Troy built Bronco little weed eater. Um, very nice. Don't even know what's wrong with it. And yeah, of course, thanks for Max and Mary. Need a carburetor though. But look at this though. So, you know how like you prime it, like you like push it like that, and then it'll get the gas flowing good. This thing is dry right, like it's cracking. Right? Oh, yeah, I just cracked. So that, <laughs> like um, it. I don't, I shouldn't have did that, but, yeah, I shouldn't have did that, um, <laughs> anyways, I need to get a new one, I need to get a new one anyways, because, you know, you gotta prime it, and so, yeah, you saw it, I just tried to prime it, and it cracked into a bunch of little pieces, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that sucks, um, anyways, uh, let's, let's get the craftsman. One more thing, that's right. Um, here it is. Hope it cranks up. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got pump the tires. Um, forget the tire pump. Get her over here. There's... I do some of that too, because I gotta duck down every time I go in there. These, the left tires, I don't, that left tire is good. And then that left tire is good. I mean, they stay pumped up. But the right tires, not pumped up at all. And then, not pumped up at all. And I'm going to take some before and after pictures of this thing because look how dirty it is. And they been washing. Who knows how long? I'm going to see how clean I can get it looking. Like. Okay, so let me pump these tires real quick. Is she gonna start it up? I don't know. I hope so. Either. I'm gonna hop on here real quick. Got bird crap everywhere. Um, let's see. I'm gonna choke it. I'm gonna choke it.
Okay, so we got this one down here. Now we're going back up to the shed to get the purple powder and the tiller and the sprayer. And I already got the pressure washer and we're gonna get them cleaned up. That's a lot of stuff, ain't it? <laughs> Alright, so get the purple powder. So like two and a half gallons, I think. Um I'm gonna go right here get my sprayer. Don't know why my sprayer is not in the shed. Need to put it in here. Okay. There it is right there. I'm gonna have to put the phone down. I can't do all this with the phone to loot it. And I put some in there and I put water in there. But um I think we're gonna need a lot of purple power. <laughs> like a lot. You know, first you gotta get it all wet and then you gotta put the soap on it, so Got fresh water. Look how much better this flares looks. Look how, look how clean it looks. That's with no purple power at all, just from washing it off. Not even washing it off good either. Right on this side. And look at this crap, dude. Look at this thing. I used to see it. Oh, that's clean and good. Okay, so I'm gonna be busy cleaning. While I'm busy cleaning, y'all can go ahead and click the like button and subscribe. Look at that, dude. Look at that, bro. That is crazy. <laughs> wow, dude, this thing is really cleaning up my first wash. No purple power at all. Look at how much cleaner this thing looks, dude. I'm ready to see what it looks like after the purple power. Oh, man. It was just so dirty. Look at that, though. Man, alright. So I'm going up here. I'm gonna get some, this is I'm gonna get some rags and stuff. I was gonna get the tiller, but I forgot to get it. So let me go get that real okay, quick. So, um, I got them all cleaned and we're done. And it's pretty, pretty good. Um, that ain't my bike, that's Grayson's bike. But, um, the craftsman turned out really clean. I'm really surprised at how clean it was. Um, I guess I'll walk around all of them. So here's the golf cart. Here's a Honda. And then here's the Polaris. Pretty clean. We're gonna sell the Polaris soon. So you know, trying to get it real clean looking. Um then here's this mini bike. It wasn't real dirty, it was mainly just dusty. I used purple power anyways, because it went up. And then here's my bike. And my bike. There's a the tiller, looking brand new. Um, and here's a the craftsman. These ran be like super white. A little dark right there, I didn't get whatever. But these rims are super white and looking real good. Uh, next, I'm gonna clean the inside of here. I'm gonna do that maybe in a week or something. But, um, yeah, that's it. Took me like five hours to clean all of these. Now they're going back in the shed. But, um, you know, like always, just like and subscribe and comment or something.